Hey guys, welcome to Show Me Those Fucking Stats. This is Dad Eye. This is the Team Fortress 2 edition and the first episode in the series. So let me take a sec to talk about what the hell I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to be running around doing some gameplay and commentary on a specific weapon or load that the viewers have suggested in the comments below. So if you're watching this on either Machinima Respawn or my channel, please comment below saying what you want to see in the next video. So right now, I'm going to be using the Scout class and the Scatter Gun, which is the stock weapon for that class. Uh, let's take a look at the stats on this piece of shit. Six shots in the barrel. You carry 32 extra with you. Now, for damage, you could do from 85 to 105 damage. That's point blank, and that's only if you connect all the shots. So, if you're running up to someone, you'll finish them off in maybe two to three shots, uh, depending on the class. Medium range, 10 to 40, which isn't much. Long range, 3 to 10, which isn't going to kill anything. 180 damage is what you'll be doing if you get criticals. Now, that is only if you connect all the shots, and that's not easy with the scout. Running around, doing what you're supposed to be doing, it's not easy to connect all the shots, unless you're some kind of try-hard pants. Uh, so right now, let's get into the gameplay. Coming out of the door, we're going to be... Basically, what your job as a scout is, is to get around the team. you got to be on your feet, moving at all times. You cannot stop at any time. That was a pretty obvious spy. Uh, right now, that is basically what your job is. you got to get rid of those guys that are just picking your team off. So right now, we got a little engineer problem right there. Uh, what we got to do is get rid of the scout first off. Right now... Well, see me getting on to the point which is what you need to be doing if you have the opportunity if there are a lot of enemies in that point you do not want to be on it you better get your ass off that point or you'll be doing your team no help I am equipping the scatter I am equipping the uh, sandman and milk as extras um, with not really what this video is about. Oh, you see me die there. I tried to pull out the milk and extinguish myself, but apparently it didn't work. What you need to be doing is, at all times, trying to annoy the crap out of your enemy team. The scout is not meant for up-close combat. That is why he only has 125 health. That is also why he is so damn fast. The ideal job of the scout is to be an annoyance. Now, if you just saw those hit markers that I just did on that scout, that was do on that soldier, might I add, that was over a hundred damage on some of those shots, uh, which is quite a bit. That's only if you connect all the shots. I will say again. Now, pyros are the biggest problem you will ever have with any class, except pyro itself. Now, soldiers, uh, what you want to do is you want to keep jumping around. You want to get out of there. You do not want to be alone in a room with a soldier. That sounds like a pedophile joke, but it's not. A soldier will just bounce its rockets off the wall and just destroy you. I don't know how that pyro just blew that back at me, but anyway, soldiers, they tend to shoot the ground because they have some kind of problem. They can't shoot right at you. So, what you want to do is you want to be out open, you want to be jumping around in their face but keeping your distance at the same time. That is the biggest mistake many scouts make. Now for pyros that I'll go back to. What you want to do is you definitely want to keep from long range. You want to shoot those nerd motherfuckers from long range because they are going to take you down. Uh, medics you'll never have a problem with. Uh, but back to pyros, you cannot be medium range and short range with those motherfuckers because they will take you down. Uh, their fire will spray to medium range, which is uh, about, I would say, five feet in front of you, five to five to six feet. Uh, I don't know how you would measure that, but it's uh, it's pretty far. Uh, some people don't actually realize how far they can uh, shoot. Now that was a big mistake right there going head on to a pyro. You can shoot its ass but if it's facing you, you better get the hell out of there. Milk is good for extinguishing yourself and your team. I don't really throw milk at people for health. Um, I do use it to 
as I said before, extinguish. Now what here it what that was right there was a mini sentry if you don't know what that was. Mini sentries are mainly for taking out those pain in the ass scouts, which is not good for me. Mini sentries are very easy to take down, but also a pain in the ass if you're again a scout. Um they cannot be healed by an engineer, but it's it, that's that's a good plus for a scout because uh, it's just a pain in the ass. They, sh they it seems like there's no missing uh, from those little son of a bitches. Now, this bottom area in the map is a very good place to. Uh, evade enemies and get around them because you can easily jump double jump on and off of that uh, little platform down there with ease and it also has a little health bonus for you uh, if you're trying to run away from a son of a bitch like that right there who just won't fucking die oh 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 there he goes that is another thing you don't want to do is fight an engineer with crits. I tried to get get around and shove that gun up his ass, but it didn't work. Uh, the the stick didn't work either. So he is definitely a virgin engineer for now. Uh, the round is almost over here. We had the point for almost the entire time. Uh, the enemy team did end up capturing that and winning which was not good now let's see this is also Halloween so if you see some things that uh, seem weird to you you've never seen in Deep Fortress 2 before that's because it's Halloween my friend uh, there are still Halloween items up and running right now, like the pumpkin head, there's the new eyeball, uh, that runs around, uh, Koth uh, Viaduct, and, uh, just shoots, I thought they were rockets at first, but apparently they're mini eyeballs that explode on everything. So that was a neat thing that Valve threw in there this year. Uh, so I am actually using the pumpkin head still, because I think that was a lot better. As you can see, another handy work from Mr. Engineer. Uh, I hate those mini sentries all the time. Uh, that's why I tried to aim for that before dealing with the engineer. That is what your job is to do, though. You were you were kind of like you were almost like a support in some ways, but you're also offensive in many ways. Uh, so this is about the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe on my channel. If you are viewing it there or on Machinima Respawn, I'm sure that there will be a link to my channel in there somewhere. So that's the end of that run. Have a good day and peace out, motherfuckers.